In today's exercise, I want to find out what are the top three boroughs of London that have the most historic buildings. So I already have a data set here from historicengland.org, and I'm going to be using spatial analysis tools in Felt to answer this question. If you'd like to follow along with this tutorial, there's a link in the video description to this Felt map, which already has all the data sets. Just simply go to the Felt file menu and select Duplicates My Maps. Now this particular data set of the listed buildings goes all the way across southern England. So we want to isolate this to just show us these buildings inside of the boroughs of London. So to do that, we simply grab the London boroughs polygon and we click on the transform tool right here. And then in the drop down menu, we want to do a clip. And now we want to cut out data from the listed buildings where it overlaps with London boroughs. And we'll just rename it buildings in London. Okay, so we have a new buildings in London layer. If I turn off the visibility of these other layers, you can indeed see that this is now contained within the London boroughs polygon. So now I want to isolate these buildings to show only the grade one categories. So I can do that here in the filter tab. So if I click on filter, I can add a filter and then I'm gonna search down here by grade. So we have these three different grades. We only wanna look at grade one buildings. So I'm gonna go ahead and click done. So that is now filtered down and I actually wanna generate a new layer. So I can click update and new layer and that's gonna actually perform another transformation and generate a new layer with only these grade one buildings. Okay, I have my new layer of just the grade one buildings and I'm gonna zoom in here and you can indeed see them right here. You'll also notice that these are polygons. So I wanna convert these to point data. And then I'm gonna take that point data and use it in account points transformation. So then I can apply that to each borough. So to convert these two points, I'm gonna use the centroid transformation. So I'm gonna grab this layer and then go click on transform. And in the drop down menu, I will select centroid. Here's our preview and I'll call this one points. Okay, so we have our new layer and you can see it is indeed a point data layer right here with this symbol and then over here you can see it says points. So I'm gonna turn off this previous layer. Now we wanna use the count points transformation tool. So I'm gonna grab this, click on transform and then go grab count points. And then we'll say for each polygon of the London boroughs, we wanna count the points in buildings. And we'll call the new layer buildings and boroughs. And now this gives us our final polygon layer here, which I'm going to isolate this. I'm going to double click to see it. So now all we have to do is style this based on our new data field. So if I go to the general type drop down menu, I'm going to switch this to color range. And then I want to color it by our new data, which is points count. And now I can simply pick whatever color palette I'd like, which is this one right here. And then I can label this as I wish. So I could label it by the name of the actual borough, or I could label it by the point count if you wanna see that as well. And as a final step, you could come over here to the steps drop down menu and play around with the different classification methods. For example, I could switch this to Jinx. Super easy using Felt and this data set. And now you can easily see the top three boroughs. Thanks for watching. And to learn more about GIS, be sure to follow us.